Football Sicilian, FBS. I am very grateful for Fatball and Cecilia. I'll tell you why. FBS created more channels than Comcast, okay? FBS endorsed a lot of channels. He created a lot of channels, and I bet he can't count how many channels that he has helped to get monetized, and I'm one of them. You know, and then it's not like you have no violence on your record until you're 30, and then one night you just decide to go out and kill a cop. It doesn't happen like that. Fabrizio was always a tough kid. He was a tough kid. He had a nice punch. If he hit you, he would knock you the fuck out. I already had the position. I don't want to say boss, but that's what I was. I had the position. I was, I was made directly with New York, and I didn't have to answer to nobody in my area. I didn't watch the show, so I didn't really understand the magnitude or like, you know, how big this moment was. But you know what? When the Nero asked him to let the old lady stay, yeah. you know, and she has to stay with the dog. Well, God, it never started, huh? You know that scene? And he was like, it's nuts. Anytime I got to shoot at John's restaurant on East 12th Street, which was like a big mob hangout where like Joe the Boss, Masseria would like hold court. And I got to work with Ivo Nandi who played Joe the Boss. Uh, those were some of my favorite scenes. And the moment you walk in, I could recognize who's at the bar, who's at the table, FBI. And this is the first time that I meet Sonny Franchetti. As a matter of fact, outside the Bada Bing, satin dolls, we put a curtain in the parking lot. Everyone was wondering, why is that big curtain in the parking lot? We were rehearsing the hanging scene. I'm living proof, guys. I'm living proof. I mean, no, I'm, not, I'm no millionaire or nothing, but listen. Look at my life four years ago. I was in a fucking hotel. I was you know, selling crack. I was I was snorting coke. I was drinking myself to fucking death. I was literally taking bags full of Ativan just because I wanted to die in my sleep. I was all alone, you know, and now I'm here. I have my family. I have a little bit of money in the bank. I got everything I want. And I got you guys in this channel. So if I can do it, any of you can do it. Yes, what's going on, everybody? It's Freestyle Friday. We do have a bit of a topic, though. At least, you know, the fact that I've stolen Stand Up Guy's birthday belongs to me now, just like I did with pizza whenever the fuck his birthday was. February, I think. I don't know. Yeah, it's mine now. It's my birthday. Now, of course, this is how um, honest I am. A couple of people texted me. Oh, happy birthday, bro. After I posted, you know, well, scheduled and titled the show and they saw it pop up, I had to let them know, no, 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 it's not really my birthday, you know, because I don't want people like donating because they think it's my birthday. No, it's Sugar's birthday. I've stolen it from him. It's mine now. And if you want to donate to me for his birthday, feel free, you know, but I would never lie. Uh, first off, we have... Oh, Sally, $2 for happy birthday. Thank you, Sally. Uh, look, show your uh, birthday is benefiting me already. Michael Hensley, 1999. Happy birthday, my brother. Love you, bro. Love you too, Michael. And thank you, my friend. Paulie Walnuts. Holy shit, where have you been? Member for 17 months. What up, chat? I am in the Bahamas on a cruise. Just checking in. Not sure why, LOL. What do you mean, not sure why? Because you're part of the fucking family and we miss you, Paulie Walnuts. Uh, have a good time, man. The Bahamas. That must be beautiful. Must be beautiful. Uh, thanks, man. Thanks for being a member for so long. All right. Let me get back here. I'll do some shout outs, I guess. Kind of customary, you know. Uh, this can't be wrong. Jason Mike Sell, Luca Brazzi, Bobby Barbarian. Uh, War, Alex Vela, Stevie the Gypsy, uh, sending you Lavandas. Why, thank you, Bobby. Uh, let me see here. Mike Slick, I heard about it. I was asleep. I didn't feel a thing. Not a thing. How about you guys? Um, 
Let me see. Hey, now. Happy Yiz Day. Ah, I like that. Sounds a lot like Happy Jizz Day, though, so I'm not sure. Jane Creek, thank you. Haunted Ghost Tube, Dana. Good to see you. Thank you for being here. Jesse Roth, Yizzo. Happy 45th on 4-5. Oh, wow. I didn't even think about that. Holy shit. See that? Didn't even occur to me. Ah, mustache Pete. <laughs> you know me, bro. <laughs> Sick fuck. Good to see you, man. Thank you for being here. Jason Mike Sell, you had me, FBS. Yeah, he texted me, happy birthday. I'm like, oh, shit. I don't want people really thinking it's my birthday and giving me, you know, money and gifts and shit. Uh, no. <sighs> Uh, Jason Mike Sell, you're a good man. I appreciate that honesty. For sure, the big money donations uh, were going to roll in, LOL. I'm sure, I'm sure. John DeLong. Uh, <laughs> Miss Campiro. <laughs> oh, look at this shit. Jersey Girl 732. Hey, Jersey Girl is not around nearly enough anymore, but I understand why. $9.99, in that case, happy birthday, FBS. Thank you, Jersey Girl. Thank you very much for the $9.99. Oh, my God, he's going to be fucking pissed. <laughs> uh, FBS says all leisurely. I guess I'll do shout outs. Oh, yeah, 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 you know. <laughs> like as if I never do it. All right. Uh, wait, wait. A lot of happy birthdays coming in. John DeLong, thank you very much. Uh, hey, now. $25 for lavender fertilizer. Thank you. Hey, now. Thank you for the $25. I'm going to turn FBS's car into an accordion. Thank you so much, bro. Very generous of you guys. It's it's so nice, you know. I remember almost my whole life I had one birthday a year. One. Now I have at least three. I'm not sure who else is I'll take, but I have at least three. I have pizzas, stand-up guys, and mine. So nice. So nice. Uh Chris Capello, $20. Thank you for the cash app. Jesse Roth, $5 for it's your freaking birthday. Thank you. Thank you, Jesse. I should have played in the club 50 cent before the show, right? I know. I forgot. Or at least I didn't even think about it, to be honest. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know, man. I, I didn't even, but my mom told me that a few hours ago. I was like, yeah, right. I thought she was fucking around. I thought she was hallucinating or something. Apparently, we did have an earthquake. Oh, see, what up? What up? Hmm. Butterfly kisses. Did I shout you out? Chris Capello, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Campbell, should I sing again? If you'd like. <laughs> like as if you haven't pissed off sugar enough already but it doesn't take much you know you don't have to do much to piss him off our very existence irritates him which i love i love that you know what i mean i get a kick out of it uh, the way he was triggered what was that yesterday the day before both days i don't know that shit is funny man oh my god he goes berserk fucking starts making threats idiot threats too and by the way yesterday he said that um, he is going to, now I didn't know this, or maybe it was the, the night before or whatever. I found out last night after I did my show that not only did he say he was going to, you know, damage my car, but he said he was going to damage Shanna's and my house. He was going to throw paint on it like the fruit that he is. Like he's at, I don't know, a parade or something. Okay. He's going to throw paint on my house where my mother, my sick mother and my very young stepson live. So, um, I had to decide what I would do out of revenge, and I've decided that I'm going to fuck his wife. That's what I'm going to do, Shug. I'm going to fuck your wife right in the ass. I'm going to make her scream FBS and then CeeLo, loud as could be. That's what I'm going to do. It'll be much worse than a little car damage. I mean, I could just come back, you know, uh, go to your house, and as, as revenge to get you back, you know, I could just uh, do the same thing to your car and your house, but no. Instead, I'm going to fuck your wife. 
Yes. And it's, it's not going to be hard. You know what I mean? I'll just whine her and dine her a little bit. I don't think it'll take that much. Uh, if that's not enough, I'll pay whatever you paid. You know what I mean? I'm going to get a reprieve from Shannon. I'm going to say, baby, listen, I would never cheat on you. You got to understand. I would never do such a thing, but I, I have to fuck Shug's wife in the ass now, I, you know, for payback, for damaging your car. I don't know if she'll be understanding, but I'm hoping so. Um... Let's see. Haunted goes to Dana, four ninety nine. Take that birthday, your sugar, sugar. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the four ninety nine. Haunted goes to Dana. Robert B, five dollars super sticker. Thank you, bro. Bobby Barberia, nine ninety nine. Show me your birthday suit. Yeah, no chance of that. <laughs> no chance of that. You'd pay me to put my clothes back on. You know, you would. Uh. Let me see. Yeah, we definitely had an earthquake. Check your cash app. Oh, I was behind, so that's probably the one I got. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Mike Slick, FBS, since you are taking Suge's birthday, you might as well take his wife and introduce her to a single, uh, younger, real man that can make her happy. Why not? You know what I mean? He keeps mentioning my wife, so gloves are off. I don't give a fuck no more. You know, so, and you know, uh, talking about her is like anybody could bash his wife. Fucking her, that's another thing. You know, that'll really teach him a lesson. Uh... <laughs> yeah, Mike's look very good. Oh, shit. Sit down, gal. FBS, please give me 69 spanks full of my special day. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry for my special day. <laughs> 69 spanks. Oh, God. 69 years old he is today. Holy shit. My God. Motherfucker's old. 70 is right around the corner, jerk off. Then you'll even be more, you know, rotted and decrepit and fucking, um, you know, useless and bored. And you'll be on fucking, uh, you'll be on YouTube talking about me when you're 79. Yeah, Jason, I don't give a fuck. You don't threaten my wife. I, You know, I'm going to tell you something. I had a message all typed up for stand-up guy yesterday because fuck this YouTube shit. You want to make threats on YouTube and all that? No, 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 no. You threaten my wife, even her car. That's threatening her. Okay, so I was a little pissed off, and I wrote a very long text that I was going to send stand-up guy and let him know exactly what might happen to him if he even considers something like that. And then of all people, for you people who think that SoFlo might be an unreasonable man, uh, he talked me out of it. He said, no, don't do it. Don't do that, bro. It's not necessary. You ain't got to do that. I said, all right. And I'm actually glad I didn't because he would have used it to play victim. Plus, he would have called the cops on me. There's no question about it. He'd be at the Kingston Police Department right now with the chief. He'd bring him a lavender plant as a gift and he'd say, did you see what FBS said to me? Fucking bitch. Uh, yeah, yeah, she would. Uh, yeah, I agree, Michael Hensley. I agree. Say that's from CeeLo. Yeah, I felt that quake and it was loud as shit. I thought at first it was a low flying jet. The house actually shook. Wow, really? Man, and you're not that far. I mean, what, an hour from me? An hour and a half, maybe? Wow. I don't feel a thing, man, but I was knocked out. I I was on a mission last night. There's there's two new people I'm researching thoroughly. You guys don't even know. Uh, yeah, let's just say uh, it's a secret for now, but there's two new people I'm researching thoroughly, and I really got into it. Once I start finding things, I can't sleep. You know what I mean? I got to really start gathering information. So I did that till very, very late, five in the morning or so. And then uh, then I just couldn't sleep because I was so excited about what I found. Jersey Girl 732-499, smash the like, got you some lavender plants. Thank you, Jersey Girl. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> I love you guys. FBS, I understand, and I'm with you. Go after the love of my life. I'd come back with extreme force, too. Yeah, it, let me tell you something, man. Uh, people don't understand. See, Suge is not from the streets at all. He's not street smart. He's not a street guy. He's not somebody who was, you know, ever really involved in anything. I, I, I doubt the guy ever got in a fight in his life. You know, but 
you know, even without that, you would think he would know better than to um, threaten a man's wife. But apparently he doesn't because I didn't do that. You know what I mean? I didn't even just now say that, hey, I'm going to, you know, like, uh, well, I, let me be careful what I say. But uh, I just it's not even a threat, really. I'm just going to, um, you know, find your wife. I'm going to introduce myself and then I'm going to fuck her. You know what I mean? That's all. Uh, it's not a threat at all because it's two consenting adults, of course. You know what I mean? Uh, but but he's threatening my wife. He's threatening my wife, which which makes me want to, you know, forget YouTube, forget about YouTube. But you know, SoFlo reminded me yesterday that um, he's a clown and he ain't gonna do a fucking thing to anyone, and there's no point in me stooping to his level. Yes, yeah, SoFlo said this. No point in me stooping to his level. So he stopped me. And I'm very, very glad. I appreciate his advice. Um, so. And then later on, I looked back at the text and I was like, it's really good I didn't send this. Really good. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That motherfucker would be living in the Kingston Police Department. He would have joined the Pussy Protection Program. He can be, Miss Campiro. I think I'll have a ribeye B-Day steak tonight with crack pipes for candles. <laughs> Probably. You think he's having his uh, birthday dose tonight? Shoot up a little bit? Stand-up guy is going to fill a turkey baster with heroin and inject it right into his fucking skinny, spindly little bitch-ass arm. Jane Creek, $10. Happy birthday, FBS. Thank you, Jane. God damn. Look you guys. Breaking news, the earthquake's epicenter was discovered in MRE's bathroom. Is that right? <laughs> ah, shit. Let me see. Uh, Shug has said before that he's never been in a fist fight. Yeah. See what I mean? Yeah. How in the fuck? Let me ask you guys. A lot of you guys are from Brooklyn. How the fuck are you born and raised in Brooklyn? You've never been in a fist fight. What, do you just stay in this fucking house all day? How are you not in a fucking fist fight at any point in your life? Holy shit. The first fist fight I got into, I swear to God, I'm not exaggerating. I was like seven years old on the playground at PS113. I was playing with a big bouncy ball and some black kid took it from me and I punched him in the fucking nose. I'll never forget that. How dare you take my bouncy ball. Shuggy is the type that provokes and provokes. Then when uh, he gets his ass stomped, he will cry victim and say he is an old man. Well, shut the fuck up, then, old man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of these older guys, they always do that. Oh, it's elder abuse. Oh, you're going you're gonna to mess with an old man? Listen, you're messing with young people. What the fuck? What are you, uh, exempt from an ass kicking? I don't think so. Uh... Well, nowadays in Brooklyn, you got those hipster ass areas where zero violence. You can grow up there now. Yeah, now. But the motherfucker grew up in the 60s and 70s and 80s. You know what I mean? Like, uh, what the fuck? There you go. If you want to show Miss Camp your own some birthday love, there's her uh, cash app and Venmo. Because if it's my birthday, it's her birthday too. And we took Suge's birthday. So let me make that clear to you. Bobby, I almost guarantee it. No, no way, Jason. How's that even possible? How's that even possible? Oh, you paid off all the neighborhood bullies with your mom's chicken cutlets? Oh, I understand. Yeah, FBS, seriously, you know how? Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, FBS, seriously, you know, he was a fucking pussy his entire life then. There's no doubt about it. It's not. And he's got a mouth on him. So it's not that, you know, nobody tried to fight him. It's that he probably ran the fuck away. He probably dropped his books and shit. You know what I mean? I ran home. I bet you people used to fucking rob him for his lunch money every fucking day. Guarantee it. Sugar said he doesn't care if he gets jail time for fucking you up. LMAO, three hots and a cock. <laughs> Robert B., nice. You, you'd have to fuck me up first, stand-up guy. You don't stand a fucking chance. 
I would run circles around you and I have heart fucking failure. Yeah. You don't stand a chance, buddy. But like I said, if we run into each other somewhere, I can prove that to you. Of course, you'll have to hit me first. You know, you have to hit me first. Which would be nothing. It'll be like you throwing a fucking grape at me. You know what I mean? It wouldn't even fucking, uh, it wouldn't even hurt. It wouldn't even leave a mark, a bruise, nothing. And and that's if you could even throw a punch. <laughs> Tom Sheehy, thank you for the happy birthday. It is not my actual birthday, Tom, but I did hijack uh, Shuggies. Shug's birthday is now my birthday. He's turning 69. I'm turning 40. Uh, awesome. Okay. And that's it. I can't say 45 because then when I turn 45 on August 20th, you know, it's like, wait a minute, you're probably closer to 45 and a half now, you know. Shuggy, when the guy comes uh, knocking on your door. Oh, yeah, I can't wait for that. And he's coming. He's coming with paperwork for your ass. If that's what you're talking about, Miss Camp, you're wrong. Um, just the thought of him acting tough, like I said yesterday, is fucking hilarious. Hilarious. Never gotten a fist fight in his life. Well, you better pick a better target for your first one, you know? <laughs> you better pick a better opponent. Uh, so why don't you fight like William Brooklyn or somebody? You know what I mean? He's drunk. You might knock him down. Who knows? 40 awesome. Yeah, that's what I am. I'm fucking 40 awesome. Uh, I wouldn't doubt it, War. I would not doubt it. Guys, Um, we could talk about stand-up guy all day. We could talk about... Uh, I. This is what I want to try. I want to try something. Because, you know, I got some advice yesterday. Um, and... The threats, you know, I was told it's better off that I, I let the threats take place and I, I don't do anything to threaten back. Like I said, his um his wife, you know, I that would just be, you know, two consenting adults having sex. There's nothing illegal about that. I'd be doing nothing wrong. But just because um, we'll be stooping to their level. You know what I mean? We'll be making threats, which are ridiculous. Uh, I already told you, I'm not going to nobody's fucking house. You got to come find me. Uh, I'm not stupid enough to put myself in a position where I break the law as soon as I get to your fucking neighborhood just by being there, you know, after making threats online. So forget all the threats. Threats are pussy shit. Let them make the threats. We know that stand-up guy is like, uh, you know, Tony Pizza is more to worry about than stand-up guy. And Tony Pizza wouldn't even be able to defend himself in a fight. He's harmless. But both of those guys are making threats. They're making uh, lots of threats. So I'm going to let them make threats. I'm going to make little compilations and I'm going to put all their threats up on my channel, you know, and uh, that's it. You know, I'm going to try something with Tony fucking pizza here. Cause first of all, I'll say this, Tony, you've been saying that you're going to come here for almost three years now. You've had car after car. You've been on train after train. You've traveled all different ways, buses, everything. You were like a few hours away from me and you didn't come here. You know, so, I mean, I would give up on that. I don't think even your own people believe you, but go ahead and make threats. Nobody takes you seriously. Same thing with you, sugar. Uh, you know, if somebody threatened what you threatened and it was a, you know, somebody that should be taken seriously. I honestly would have no choice but to come get you. And then I would go to jail, uh, wherever the fuck it is, like a, in, in, um, uh, Shug's case. I don't know what, is that Nassau County? Which jail is that, uh, in Long Island? I'm not sure. I'd have to go to jail there. No big deal. I've been to jail many times. Uh, you have it, of course, you don't know, you know, that you could handle it. And I guarantee you couldn't, um, Especially if you got to leave your wife alone for months or maybe years and, and, and I'm out free. You know what I mean? would be a bad idea. <sighs> oh, I'll, uh, I'll read that in a second. Um, but anyway, you know, they're both jokes. Let them make their threats. I'll continue to talk about sugar. Tony Pizza, I want to do an experiment, which I've done before. 
just because he likes to play victim. He's a victim of everything. He's a victim of me. I, according to him, I started with him. He's a victim because his mom got a phone call, everything. He, he gets to use the victimization shit to raise money and everything else. So we're going to see how long we can go without talking about Tony Pizza. Any of us, even in the chat. But but me, I'm the one who really, you know, because you guys can do whatever the fuck you want. You're not content creators. You're not making any promise. I am. So I'm going to see how long I can go without mentioning Tony Pizza at all. And I want to show you and all his people how he keeps going and going and going and going. This way, when he tries to use the, the, the you know, the victim thing, oh, he started with me. It'd be like, well, FBS hasn't talked about you in weeks or months, but you keep going, you know, because we all know the truth. I don't have to say a word to him or about him. You know, he talks about me because he makes money off of it. That's the only reason. Plus, uh, those people, Angel, Angela and them are using him to uh, attack us. So if anything, I'll attack them. You know what I mean? Because they're using him as a proxy. So that's that. You know what I mean? It'll be... Uh, It'll be a good experiment. You'll see. No, no, no. It's okay, Dana. You guys don't have to. But I might not read your comments. You could put them in the chat, but, you know, watch what we're going to do. Trust me. I got good ideas. Okay. All right. I'll get to that later. Uh, what was I going to look at? Stephen Cordell, $10. Thank you very much. And, my God, if this is you, I, I can't. Come on. I already know who this is. It's through PayPal. Ugh. Tom Sheehy, $50. Happy uh, extra birthday, brother, LOL. Thank you, Tom. But honestly, I feel bad. Like, you've been giving me so much money, bro. Honestly, feel free to take a break. Don't worry. You you take care of me. I don't, you know, I, I don't know your situation. Uh, it's none of my business, but I don't, you know what I'm saying? I feel bad. You, you've given me a fuck ton of money in the last couple of months. Not to mention over the last couple of years. I love you, though, man. And thank you so much for that 50, brother. Thank you, man. All right, now let me read some comments because I know there's a lot. Uh, young Shug did what old Shug would old Shug would also do: drop into the fetal position. Oh, of course. There's a lot of YouTube tough guys. Reminds me of the telephone tough guys from back then. Call you and threaten you. Won't ever do shit. Oh yeah. That's exactly what it reminds you of. That's what it is, basically, just with a keyboard now. What is this? Definitely five good donors that ate FBS. And, and my donations are great when I'm when I'm going at them. My, my donations, you know, go crazy. When right, I'm hold on. Them. Listen. Definitely five good donors that ate FBS. And, and my donations are great when I'm when I'm going at them. My, <laughs> my donations, you know, go crazy when I'm going at them. At least five. At least it doesn't. At least he he's honest about it. You know what I mean? At least he tells the truth. He always has, though. I know that, and that's another reason why. You know, leave him alone. It'll hurt him much more than going after him every fucking day. But I told you guys that. He's been saying that since the beginning. It's true. These fucking loser scumbags who are jealous of me, these fucking miscreants, these pieces of dog shit in his fucking chat, they're so jealous of me. They want to be like me so bad and they can't that they'll actually throw their money away on a homeless scumbag who will just squander it because they think it gets at me. Tony Pizza would probably talk about me anyway. Honestly, maybe not as much. Definitely not as much. He would talk about me anyway. I don't give a fuck. Tony Pizza has said it all. I don't care anymore. Keep giving him money. It's, it's your guys' uh, wallets that are getting drained. Mine are filling up, and so are Tony Pizza's. You know, so you guys are the suckers. But thank you, Robert B., for sending me that. That was an uh, unbelievable turnover. That was quick as a motherfucker. <laughs> William might even drop his pants for Suge. 
Well, when he's drunk, I'm sure his inhibitions are down greatly. Oh, of course, Miss Camp, you're wrong. But I, uh, and don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that I'm not, I'm not changing anything today. I'm just, I just meant for this particular episode, there's something else I want to talk about, non sugar or pizza or pretty much anybody else related. I'm, I'm going to play you um, the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And I want you guys to take me seriously here. I have been on MobTube uh, almost three years, and I'm 44 years old, going on 45. I've heard millions of stupid things. We all have, right? But I heard the dumbest thing I have ever heard in my fucking life yesterday. And you might be surprised who I heard it by or who I, you might be surprised by who I heard it from. Sorry. Let me just get through some more comments. Hold on one second. Do any of you guys in the chat, most likely ladies, do this? Uh, is this a new thing? It's called Diamond Art. You can buy this shit on like Amazon and you get these like templates and you you fill in like these little, um, what are they? They're not diamonds, obviously. They're, yeah, these little plastic pieces that I guess, you know, are supposed to look like them. Uh, and you, you make shit out of them. You know what I mean? This is pretty fucking cool right here. Shannon just did this. Every one of those little pieces, you go by numbers, right? Yeah, and every one of those little pieces uh, she put on there. Shit's fucking dope, isn't it? This is one I just got her. When did you start that? Last night? This morning. <laughs> She's always involved in some art or craft. Are you going to? Hold on. All right, here I am. Um, I forget what I was saying. Uh, let me just go through comments. Pizza was uh, threatening uh, you. He wouldn't come with four other guys. He damn sure ain't coming alone. Yeah, you guys got to remember something. And I'm not getting back on that subject. That whole jumping thing and everything that goes along with it, ambulance and cops. And I'm done talking about that. If you put something in the chat, I'm just going to ignore you. I'm not responding to it anymore. I you know, I kind of have to be done talking about it. And and even if I didn't, there's just no point any fucking more. Um, there, there's a group of liars, proven pathological liars. And then there's me who has never, whether you want to believe it or not, uh, been caught in a lie. So, you know, it doesn't matter. I don't care what anybody thinks. Uh, the people who matter, no, they don't know the truth. So, uh, but I'll just say this real quick. He had a guaranteed win, Tony Pizza. You understand that? A guaranteed win. There was no way uh, that I was going to uh, to win, you know, me against five guys. There's no fucking way. Uh, and I didn't win. All right. And then pizza could have been there. And he wouldn't have even had to do anything. He could have just got the satisfaction of getting me jumped because let's be honest, he wouldn't do anything. And he still didn't show up. That's how scared of me he actually is. He's and scared of getting in trouble. He still wouldn't show up when he had a guaranteed win, when, when these other five guys were going to do the work. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it goes to tell you everything you need to know about a guy who keeps saying he's coming to see me and, and he's going to come here alone. Okay. Pizza said today that you couldn't take him in fistica fistifications. No, he did. He didn't say that. He, 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 you might be telling the truth. I don't know. Fistifications? Is that like fisticuffs? <laughs> well, hopefully, and I do mean hopefully, we'll find out someday. Misty, hello, FBS. Not sure if you spoke on this already, but Pizza actually implicated himself in the assault on you by giving the order for those guys who assault you. Well, first of all, he didn't give no order. OK, he likes to act like a mob. Guy. He didn't give no order. He uh, encouraged them. He instigated, you know, stuff like that. And, and they did what they did. Uh, but 
you know, I'm sure at least Sessa uh, isn't going to take orders from fucking pizza. Maybe Mac, not Sessa, you know? So, uh, but yeah, he implicated himself many, many times. He, you know, the, the police were watching him do it after everything happened. They were watching his channel and Mac's channel and uh, they saw all that stuff. You know what I mean? So um, I just don't, you know, who cares about Tony fucking pizza? <laughs> Putting him in jail would, would be, uh, it'd be an improvement in his life. So, <laughs> but thank you, Mr. Yes, I'm, I'm actually aware. I didn't know he just did it, but, but send me the clip. Somebody, if you can, of him saying that it, it'll help me in, in future, um, um, legal situations, you know, it will. And it'll especially help me. Uh, it'll especially help me if I ever have to hurt him. You know what I'm saying? So. Pizza actually blames you for him being homeless. His new name is Tony Excuses. Well, I've only known Tony Pizza, and I don't even know him, but I mean, I've only known of him for about, you know, roughly three years. It'll be three years. Well, he, he started around July or something. August, I think he came on here. I started in June, so, you know, it's close. Um, and he's been homeless since he was 16. You know, so Tony is the only person to blame for his homelessness. He's too lazy to work or actually do anything with himself. You know, the county police just informed me FBS, a radio flyer uh, clocked at five miles per hour is headed your way. <laughs> oh, my God. War. Are you serious? Where's he coming from? The, uh, North Carolina? That should take him. Jesus. He'll probably be here in somewhere around six to seven months. Jesus. I better start preparing. Thank you, War five miles per hour uh well jason i listen i'm not saying i could stick to it i'm just trying to conduct an ex an experiment here because and again you know if this situation ever arises where i do have to do something that, that might get me in trouble uh, it doesn't hurt you know uh, to be able to show that this guy won't stop even though i stopped he won't stop you know what i mean so it's Guys, whether you believe me or not, not every little thing, but but anything that might seem odd to you guys that I do, it's strategic. I'm a pretty smart fucking guy, okay? Uh, it's strategic. So I have reasons, you know? And I'm, I'm talking to lawyers all the time now about this fucking lawsuit bullshit. So, you know, I'm uh, trying to take advice from people and things. So, you know. Uh, pizza does shows off... Your show, FBS, attacking everything you say and providing his own response. It's fucking pathetic. He has no content, but just attaching himself to you. He never did. It's always been me. His channel has been FBS always, all the time, around the clock for almost three years. Ah. Now, in a minute, I'm going to show you the dumbest thing I ever heard. And I think a lot of you will agree with me. My daughter was on the uh, runway at Philly during the earthquake. She is returning doing the, the fuck. Oh, during the eclipse. Wow. Uh, interesting timing. <laughs> I'm glad she's okay though, bro. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Five guys. His mother's erection goes crazy when he's going at UFBS. Oh, you filthy son of a bitch. And I'm not even anywhere near the motherfucker right now. There he, he steps one foot in my mother's direction. He's going to jail. So. <laughs> Jane Creek, I had someone in Bambi's chat tell me that they supported pizza because they thought pizza was funny and because he attacked FBS. Yeah. <clears throat> he, he said that on, uh, well, that's a supporter. I'm not surprised by that. But back to the pizza saying that. He said that shit, the pizza. <laughs> That's what you should call him from now, the pizza. <laughs> he said um, that statement about uh, being paid to attack me a long time ago on Tom Lavecchia's channel. So, and I mean a long time ago, like right in the beginning, basically. Maybe, hmm, I'm going to say five, six months in, maybe. Family said here, my family here said, we don't know what a real earthquake is. Yeah. I mean, I know I don't, 
I mean, as far as experiencing one. Oh, Walt Lecker, you're going to love it. You're going to love who it comes, uh, who it's coming from. Uh, no, it's like those stone things. Well, they're, they're little plastic pieces that she picks up with like a pen and she puts on the thing. You know what I mean? But she gets so lost in it. Um, she has a, she has, I'm, I'm sure it's relaxing. You know what I mean? She gets into it and she's done a lot of them already. Thank you, Dana. Uh, I don't know if she's ever done anything with that. Pizza's reason for turning on Mac after that was that Mac was trying to make him look bad. People would be calling pizza. Uh, Tony do nothing. Uh, those were his words. Tony do nothing. That's what they were calling him. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. I don't even care about those guys or that situation. Day by day, I care less and less. The only times I ever think about it or bring it up is when there's somebody in the chat. I fall into that trap. But sometimes it creates good content like yesterday. You know what I mean? Uh, what's this? for? Oh, for the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. $300 a week, uh, oh, I'm sorry, pizza, $300 a week room, charging his simps 150 a day, idiots. Yeah, they are stupid people. Brooklyn, hey, good to see you. Like Diddy, bad boys can't stop, won't stop, right, Kevin Hart? What the fuck? And it's funny how Tony plays the victim card when it suits him, bum that he is in life. Uh, but then plays the I know what I'm talking about card and starts talking shit. Yeah, I know. But we're going to do, we're going to accomplish a lot after this show. There's no more talking about him. Watch. Trust me. I never had to. It's nothing for me. It'll drive him crazy and he'll do something, you know, insane to, to get me to talk about him again. But, um, you know, this way, you know, all those people like, uh, not like those people ever face reality or admit they're wrong, but all the people, oh, you got no content. You got to talk about Tony Pizza. I've gone six months without talking about him. I did once. Um, I'll always have content. I'm me. I could talk about any fucking thing. Ah, yes. Thank you, Miss Camburo. No, what is it? I honestly don't want to run into Tony Pizza in real life one day and just fuck with him. For, oh, I honestly want to run into Tony Pizza in real life one day and just fuck with him for fun or record it for YouTube. Yeah, for real. No, thank you, Jason. All right, all right, let me get to it. Now, this isn't going to be something, you know, I don't know if I got you your hopes up for something insane. I just got to bring this up because it's somebody, I guess you could say mob tube related, probably part of mob tube, I guess. So. More so than anyone, if you really think about it. I don't know how you'd categorize him. Uh, but he's a real mobster. And he said the dumbest fucking thing I ever heard. And I'm going to talk about this um, a lot. Let me see. I got to go in my videos. It might loop or something. I just did a screenshot of the short, so it might loop. Um, but I want you guys to hear this. About it. The Immediately, he got one billion last year. He wanted to have some fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, everybody gambles. Who everybody gambles. Gamble? I know it's insane. It really if you is. You don't gamble. There's something wrong with you. Do you hear in the news today talking about like the sports and these guys that Shohei Otani? Yeah. They said he paid holy shit. It won't stop. In sports Fuck. Well, his interpreter. Interpreter. Yeah, his interpreter. Guess what? All right, there we go. Sorry, I, I lost my mind for a minute there. The fucking video wouldn't stop no matter what I pressed. Anyway, did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that? I don't know if you did. Tell me if you caught the stupidest thing you ever heard when I played that. Yeah, definitely war. It was. Yeah, I don't even know nothing about that. I don't care about baseball. But did you hear what, what he said at the end, Joey? Uh, yeah, it is. I just watch FBS Jesse in Chicago Muscle. That's really it. But remember, guys, this show, this is my stand-up guy birthday. I took his birthday. It is mine. It belongs to me now. And um, I deserve gifts. It's not easy to just take a man's birthday away. But, you know, I'm FBS, so I've been able to do it with one scumbag already, and now um, I'm doing it with another one. 
Uh, oh, okay, you guys talking about Jimmy? Let me see. Did you guys hear? There you go. Hey, now. Now, this would probably be better suited for an addiction and recovery show. But Joey Molino is a huge part of MobTube now. You know what I mean? There's no doubt about it. Probably the biggest part. I mean, I never really considered the real mob guys part of MobTube. MobTube is kind of a joke of a fucking thing where we all just trash each other. You know what I mean? Uh, that's what it turned into, unfortunately. It started out with good intentions, but... So, um, uh, you know, whatever. Whether you consider him part of MobTube or not, who cares? Um, it's just that this community is very involved with Joey Molino's show and stuff, and, and, and you know, uh, I guess entertained by it. Damn near everybody watches at least little clips here and there, I'm sure, just because of the shorts they do and stuff. So... Joey Molino just said, who the fuck doesn't gamble? If you don't gamble, there's something wrong with you. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> One of the reasons I'm pointing this out is because I've said many, many times, there is something wrong with the minds of mob guys and the people who worship them. There is something wrong. The constant victimhood. Oh, my God, look at me. Look what the government's doing to me. Oh, my God. We don't hurt anybody but each other. What, what are they coming after us for? Oh, my God. They're always fucking victims. My brother didn't deserve that. My father didn't deserve that. This one didn't deserve it. They're all killers and stuff, you know. Um, and the mob guys themselves are the ones that bitch and cry the most about their own predicaments. You know what I mean? They'll commit. They'll be career criminals for years and years and years. And uh, uh, they'll get caught. And all of a sudden, they're a victim. You know, they talk about guys who rat. Okay, so guys who rat, they're career criminals. They get caught. They cooperate. But these guys who don't, they commit crime their whole lives. They get caught. And then they sp spend the rest of their lives bitching and moaning and whining about how they're victims of the government and society and everything else. You know what a real stand-up guy would say? I did this to me. I chose this life, even if you don't verbalize it, you know, but, but it would show, you know, in other words, a guy who did his fucking time and doesn't whine about it. I'd be impressed with that. I just, I have yet to see a mob guy who did his time and doesn't fucking whine and cry about it. They're always victims. I told you they're victims because they're Italian. They're victims because they're, uh, they got friends. You know, they always call, you know, we're, it's just my friends, a group of friends. Sure it is. A group of friends who robs and steals and kills and fucking everything else. Now this guy said, and I'm sure Jimmy, you're going to love this. Jimmy's here. Let me see. Um, I don't blame you, Haunted Ghost Tube, Dana. Uh, FBS happy birthday and sugar. Thank you. Oh, and sugar, you gave the finger to. I'm sorry. <laughs> they all get triggered when FBS cash app goes ching ching. They certainly do. Okay. Nikki Blade Clips, where the fuck have you been? Good to see you, bro. Now, I know you only come around every now and then. I don't blame you. Last place you want to be is mob to. Outside of the occasional lotto ticket, I've never gambled. Very smart. You know, some people like like me, sometimes I gamble for fun. You know what I mean? I'm sure Jimmy and a lot of people in the chat gamble for fun here and there. There might be some people who have a problem. I hope not. If so, I wish you the best. Uh, but this is another thing. What's up, Beck Brooklyn? George the Groat, thank you. Amen. Uh, I don't blame you for that either. Why not? It's money. Okay, just sorry. I get... I want to make sure I, I don't miss a whole fuck ton of comments. This is another, you know, warped, twisted. I don't know, thought process, maybe. I mean, or just. I don't know how, how, what you want to call it. You know what I mean? But it's just more. You could tell that when they say stuff like this, like they've never been out of their bubble. You know what I mean? They've never been out of their bubble. Like Joey Molino, his world was the mob from the day he was born. 
And a lot of mob guys, they gamble constantly nonstop they're degenerates they don't they don't win a fucking thing and even if they do they put it right back in most of them are, are lifelong losers at least when it comes to money and gambling okay i'm not talking about them themselves you know what i'm saying they lose constantly you heard what people said about john Gotti. he couldn't bet you know, or he couldn't win on two cockroaches running up the fucking wall he, he couldn't win a bet to save his life his son peter said it okay and joey is obviously the same I mean, you know how many people I've heard now that he gives his picks say that his picks always lose, that they're terrible? That's because pretty much everything in life is unpredictable. You know what I mean? What the fuck? Unpredictable. Just like horse racing. Horse racing, I always said, is the biggest way. Horse racing is something you only do for fun. I don't give a fuck. You could be the best uh, gambling professional, handicapper, whatever it is in the fucking world, and you're going to lose the majority of the time on horse fucking racing. It's, it's trash. You know what I mean? It's a stupid way to gamble, but, but it's also a fun way because you could gamble all night betting $2 a fucking race. You know what I mean? Just have fun. Um, so anyway, you know, this is just another example of a warped, um, mind, a, a twisted way of thinking because he was always, Joey Molina was always in that mob bubble where people would actually see people who don't gamble as having something wrong with them. This is insanity. Yeah, I'm sure, Jimmy. I guarantee it. Um, this is insanity. You know what I mean? Like what he just said. Jimmy, did you hear it? Listen. Hold on. The Dodgers fired him. Immediately. He got one billion last year. He wanted to have some fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, everybody gambles. Who everybody gambles. Gamble? I know. It's insane. It really if you is. you don't gamble, there's something wrong with you. Did you hear in the news today talking about like. If you don't gamble, there's something wrong with you. Now think about that. Let me explain life without gambling and life with gambling. Life without gambling means that you, you people who have something seriously wrong with you, you guys work or do whatever you do. You run businesses, whatever it may be to earn money. And then here's the crazy part, guys, you fucking lunatics. You keep it. Oh, my God. What a foreign concept to Joey Molino. You, you keep it. Whether you fold it and put it in your pocket, whether you put it in your wallet, which I always thought was a little, I don't know. I never kept money in my wallet. Not one day in my life ever. Not for one fucking second, but some people do. It's just not my thing. I used to love watching drug dealers pull money out of their wallet to re-up. I'd be like, what are you fucking doing? Put the money in your pocket. Be a fucking man. Anyway, whether you keep it in a bank account, whether you just pay your bills and shit like most people, you get 100% of your money. You don't lose any of it. How insane is that? According to Joey Molino, that is nuts. That is not who would ever think, gee, how great it would be not to piss all my money away on bullshit. I mean, uh, seconds of fun, a thrill an adrenaline rush. Look at that. I didn't gamble tonight and I have the same amount of money I had when I woke up this morning. It's a beautiful thing. But no, in Joey's mind. That's crazy. You don't gamble? What? Now, the life of a gambler is, especially a degenerate gambler, you wake up, you're automatically lining up your bets for the day. Whether it's, usually it's everything. Horse racing, college fucking sports, professional, NBA, NFL, whatever. Fucking, um, uh, I'm, I'm sure there's a million other things real bad gamblers gamble on. Maybe they play on the fucking computer. They, they play online casino shit, blackjack, poker. Uh, they just go to the casino, you know what I mean, and spend the whole fucking day there while they place their bets at a sports book. Or maybe they're looking for a bookie who will take their fucking action and, and they're betting and betting and betting with money they don't have. That's the life of a gambler. And if you say, I don't know, wake up with maybe a Joey Molino, maybe you got 100 grand that you got yesterday. Who knows? You know that by tomorrow, you're going to have zero dollars left. You're gonna, he robbed an armored truck. He took $300,000 to Las Vegas. He lost it all, flew back, and then needed $20 to take him from the airport to his mother's house in a cab. There's nothing wrong with that. That's According to Joey, that's how you're supposed to live. That's normal.
But these suckers, these fucking suckers who um keep their money and, and, and are responsible with it and buy things and build things, homes and assets and invest money and all this shit. Sucker! What? What? What in the fuck did I hear? When I heard that, I had to play it back about 92 times. Because I've heard Joey say some crazy shit. But that, that was some brand new insanity. I mean, I hear the guy, one minute he's telling people, don't gamble like me. Don't be a degenerate. Don't piss all your money away. The next minute he's saying there's something wrong with you if you don't gamble. Gee, a mob guy who constantly contradicts himself. Where have I seen this before? Oh, everywhere. <laughs> everywhere on mob too. They're, they're all over. Yeah. What the fuck, man? Unbelievable. Unfucking believable. Jimmy Calandra says Joey Molino is a nobody. Uh, I don't know what he is, but I know that that comment was absolute insanity. If you don't gamble, there's something wrong with you. Meanwhile, Joey, and listen, I don't know his financial position in life. I don't know his business. <clears throat> I know he's opening a cheesesteak place, but you guys know as well as I do. That's not his cash. That's investors. They're going to slap his name on it. He's going to get a percentage, just like the Merlino's restaurant in Florida. That wasn't his restaurant. It can't be. You can't even have a liquor license in your fucking name. Okay. It's investors. I don't even think that's a secret. <clears throat> we have every reason to believe that Joey is broke, right? People who are in the know have said that about him. You know, that's the the general consensus, you know, is that, that he doesn't have much money, if any. Now, I don't know that. I'm not going to say the guy's broke, but I am going to say this. He's at the very least a former mob boss who never cooperated, okay? And in the last, since October, so September, October, we've seen him become a part of YouTube. Um, get involved. We've seen him get involved uh, with people and befriend people who are part of this insanity mob tube. Okay. Which by the way, you guys don't know who I know. You don't know who I talk to. Okay. I've spoken to people that have been at the clubs and every fucking thing else where he is. They know about this. They know about me, Joey and them. They know who, who we all are. Okay. At least definitely me. Okay, because of the things I say, bad or good about the mob and every fucking thing else. The fact that I interview uh, uh, people who cooperated, you don't think they watch those shows? They hate these people so much, right? So, yeah, it, it's become a situation now. Pretty much the whole entire fucking mafia knows about this community. Um, but he was willing to not only get on YouTube and start talking, but, you know, create his own channel create a Patreon from that. And now he's doing interviews regularly, Vlad. And now some other gang, I forget the guy's name, GA some, I don't know. Some other interview he just did with some other long haired guy. who looks like a mountain man. Okay. Um, he's at the very least a former mob boss who never cooperated. Now they're asking for donations. I'd love to hear all those people who say I beg, but love Joey Molino. Tell me the difference. Yeah, they ask for donations all the time now. I hear it with my own fucking ears. Cash app, Venmo, all that good shit. Okay. Yeah, you'd, you'd kind of have to come to the conclusion that he's probably not doing great. And I'll tell you why. John Gotti. The fucking guy was bringing in a, mil a minimum of, what, $12 million a year? And I'm sure that was just a fraction of it. Okay. He never had no money. He, he, he begambled everything. And a lot of them do that. We know that. So um, you, you can't have money if you're... This is not me saying it. This is Joey telling us that about himself. He has said over and over he is a degenerate gambler. We see... Look at Snuff the other day with the Florida Derbies. Biting his nails. He's all nervous. He's bouncing his fucking, you know, like this. Bouncing his fucking knee, you know what I mean? His fucking hands going up and down. He's like, he's a fucking nervous wreck. And uh, 
that's because they bet everything. They bet everything. They can't help it. Snuff said he had to move him and his wife and his kids had to move into his fucking parents' house because he lost everything gambling and he still gambles. And Joey, you know, he's telling us, I'm not, this is not my opinion. He says he's a, a, he's a de degenerate gambler. When you say that, you're not just admitting to being a, de uh, Jesus Christ, a degenerate gambler. I can't get the word out for some reason. You're also telling us that you, you're broke because degenerate gamblers are broke. They don't have money. You know what I'm saying? And if they do, they don't keep it for long. So this is not any accusation I'm making towards Joey. I'm going off what he has said. And then, you know, my opinions are just based on what I'm seeing. Uh, you're on YouTube. Unheard of. Nobody, nobody. We used to talk about this all the time. What if Joe Messino came on here? What if this one? What if that one? None of us ever imagined that a boss would ever actually be on. But at least Messino cooperated. You know what I mean? Like, um, but no, so yeah, let me rule him out. We've talked about other mobsters and shit, you know what I mean? That haven't cooperated if they would ever come on YouTube. And none of us ever imagined that they would. We used to always say, fuck no, there's no way in hell. It'll never fucking happen. And here's Joey. And he's all involved. Patreon, the YouTube channel, the interviews, that anybody who says he didn't get paid for Vlad, you... you you need a fucking lobotomy, okay? There's, that's insane. Vlad pays everybody, and he pays them a lot. A lot. He doesn't... I, I've I've heard offers from him uh, to people, okay? Um, and now he's on this other guy's show. You know, he's doing all this stuff for money. You can't tell me... Now, I know Joey has always been a John Gotti type who likes the spotlight and loves being a famous gangster and all that. But you know that he knows that him being on here doesn't look good. And that's why I think for the longest time he stuck to his own show. But there was no money in that show. So now Patreon. But in order to really make money off Patreon, you got to get the word out. So now he's doing these interviews on these other shows. And he did an interview with the biggest platformer of rats in the history of YouTube, DJ Vlad. By far, there isn't even a close second when it comes to interviewing people who cooperated. Vlad. Even after him being on YouTube and starting the Patreon, that I couldn't believe. I was like, no fucking way. I'm seeing things. There's no way he could be on Vlad. That's insanity. But he did. So, yeah, I have every reason in the world to believe that he's not doing great. I won't say desperate for money, but not doing great. But like I said, that's like saying that a heroin addict isn't doing great at the moment. A crack addict isn't doing real great right now. That type of shit. No, addicts, they don't do well, especially not financially. And I know people like to differentiate, but the fact of the matter is a severe gambling addict, a degenerate gambler is no different than a drug addict or an alcoholic. There is no difference. You wake up in the morning needing something. All day throughout the day, you need something. If you, if you can't get what you need, meaning you can't place a bet or if you, you know, whatever it may be, you don't have any money. At the th you, it's like you're going through withdrawal. You're going insane. You've got these bets you want to place. You don't want to miss a single one because you're sure that everyone is a winner. There's no difference. I hate to break it to you guys, uh, but the only difference is that physically the gambling might not do as much harm to you. And I say might not because uh, the stress from constantly losing all your fucking money and being broke will kill you, possibly. Stress causes, without a doubt, cancer. Stress causes strokes and fucking heart attacks. Um. It's not a good life to live as a degenerate gambler. And like I said, I'll keep repeating. I'm not bashing Joey. I did not say, in my opinion, he's a degenerate gambler. He told us over and over that he's a degenerate. Do you realize that degenerate, by definition, that does not mean, like he'll say he's a degenerate, and then he'll act like he just, you know, bets for recreation every now and then. 
No, a degenerate means a full-blown gambling addict. You eat, sleep, and breathe gambling. And we've seen it with Snuff. And I don't know Snuff. I don't want to bash the kid. I don't know. He seems like a great guy, honestly. He does. Uh, but I do have to point out, <laughs> Miss can't be wrong, that's hilarious. I do have to point out that, um, you know, he's he said himself that he, he's pretty much lost everything. He had to move in with his parents. And I saw him the other day. I'm telling you, man, watch him. He's biting his fucking nails, staring at the fucking screen, nervous as a motherfucker because he probably placed every dime he had on fucking horse uh, racing uh, that day. You know what I'm saying? So when, when I hear Joey Molina or anyone that he said, who doesn't gamble? Anybody who doesn't gamble has something wrong with them. Now you tell me the difference between him saying that and lefty saying anyone who doesn't do heroin has something wrong with them. Tell me the difference. They're both unbelievably destructive. OK, they both uh, can cause you every type of problem that could come in life. They could cause violence against you. They could cause your family to leave you. They could cause you to lose jobs, careers. Both of them, they have the, they could have the same effects. They just can. They ruin lives. And, and let me tell you, addiction, you, you ready when it comes to addiction? Ready for this? Gambling might be the most destruction most destructive addiction in the, in the whole world out of all of them and i said why before on addiction and recovery shows i probably said on on the fat old sicilian show too um it's because it's limitless especially if you're somebody like joey a high profile figure who people will just throw money at you know what i mean they'll just give you money left and right just because they want to be close to you you know what I'm saying? Now, if you're Michael Jordan, gambling isn't destructive. He's a, a notorious gambling addict. The guy makes $400 million a year minimum just off his sneakers. That's just off his sneakers. He'll be all right. But for anybody else, most people, look how many athletes have lost every fucking thing gambling. Uh, it's limitless because it won't kill you physically. At least not abruptly, not not instantly, all of a sudden, out of nowhere. Okay, like you won't most likely won't be staring at a horse race and have a massive heart attack. You 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 might though. You might, depending how much money you got on it. <laughs> well, what that race means to you. But you see my point. <clears throat> heroin, you can only do so much heroin. You're gonna drop fucking dead. Like, say you got a hundred grand, you can't do a hundred grand worth of heroin today. You can't. It's impossible. You'll be dead by the time you hit a, a few bundles, most likely, especially these days. Fentanyl, it might be the first bag. But you can have 100 grand today and blow it in 10 fucking minutes. Gambling. You can. So it's the, it, it, in a lot of ways, it is the most destructive addiction that somebody could possibly, uh, be cursed with it really is and it doesn't matter let me tell you it doesn't matter if people are throwing thousands of bucks at them you could gamble that shit so fast it's not like a, a, a gambling addict says gambling addicts are, are out of control just like drug addicts you know like i couldn't put two grams in front of me and say that's all i'm snorting today no, because as the day goes on and I'm drinking more and that runs out, what do you think? I'm going to stop when that runs out? Of course fucking not. You know what I mean? So gambling addicts can't say, oh, no matter how, even if I become a billionaire, I'm only betting a thousand bucks a day or a hundred bucks a day or 10 grand a day, whatever it might be. No matter what, my, my, uh, the, the amount I'm willing to lose will always be the same. No, the more money you get, the more money you gamble. So you could be giving them a million dollars a day and they'll probably gamble it. And I'm not talking about Joey. I'm talking about severe gambling addicts, any of them. You know what I mean? It's just gamblers have this belief that they're always going to win. 
and, and even when they lose, it's okay because they'll bet the next day and they'll win the money back from the day before. You know what I'm saying? It's insanity. You're always going to lose gambling. That's why when I do it, I do it for fun. I do it with the intention of not coming home with however much money I've allowed myself to gamble with. And if you win something, great. But let me tell you something. Somebody told me once, the worst thing that could happen to a gambler is that they win. And it's true. Because the losing doesn't get you addicted. The winning does. The winning, I remember the first time I won in one night, I won like $1,800 on pull tab tickets at Ada's at that club I used to go to. Next thing you know, every night I'm playing two, three, four hundred worth of fucking pull tabs. And I won a lot, but probably lost a hell of a lot more than I won. But it was that winning all that money in one night. I was like, I could do this every night. All I got to do is buy the tickets and open them. And no, 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 no. It's not how it works. And that lasted me for a while. And that was it. Done with it. You know what I mean? I had enough. Let me see. Some people are sending me stuff. Let me see. I keep hearing, Miss Camp Young said, I keep hearing Angel let pizza trash me when he was on last night. I've heard it from several, several people now, and Peach just said it. Well, Angel, listen, all I can say is I hope not. I fucking hope not, because I leave you alone, and I'm pretty sure damn near everybody over here leaves you alone. I don't bother you, and Miss Camp be wrong. You know what I mean? She she's like uh, my best buddy on here. Okay, so if you're attacking Miss Can't Be Wrong, you're attacking me. I really hope that's not happening, Angel, because we don't want to get back into what we were doing, do we? And you know me, I'm past the point of no return. I don't give a fuck at all anymore. In case you haven't noticed in the last couple of weeks, so I hope you weren't talking bad about Miss Can't Be Wrong because that could turn bad real fucking fast. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. I'll best find another guy with the name of so he thinks so he's using this guy's story. Hmm. You know, it's funny. Maybe I'll talk to you guys about that another time because I have, I thought that about a year ago or so when we were going at it, I was saying something about that. This can't be wrong. And um, and Albaz, I I have that feeling too because of different LinkedIn's and shit I found. So uh, I don't know. I'll you know me. I'll find out. That's for sure. What do I get now? Uh, donations, guys! It's my birthday. I took stand up guy's birthday. What are you gonna do? Leave me hanging? How dare you? On my fucking 44th and a half birthday, <laughs> my 44 awesome birthday. No, my 40 awesome. I'm sorry. She let 100% let pizza go on. No, I know that. I know he was on the show, but did he talk about Miss Can't Be Wrong? Or did she, what was the original thing? She allowed him to bash Miss Can't Be Wrong? I hope not, Angel. I'm telling you, if that's your idea, man, that you're going to use that guy, that didn't work for you any other time you did it. I'm telling you, it's whatever. I'm going to leave it in your court, Miss Campbell. You do whatever, the, or um, Angel Gotti. I'm sorry, I'm gonna leave, uh, whatever the fuck you want to do, but it's uh, it could turn out bad. I hope it don't happen, but we'll see. We'll see. Um. I'm I'm telling you, you've seen me do this before. Anybody who's using Tony Pizza, and I'll know, we'll know if you're using him. You could say all day or not. It doesn't matter. We'll know. I know his behaviors. I know the shit he regular, regularly says. If all of a sudden he starts changing it up or throwing people in, you're bashing me, and then you're praising angels, stuff like that. I know the answer. I know who's got him going after us. And then I'm going to come after you, and so will everyone else. So it's up to you. I don't give a fuck either way. Hopefully you're not making that mistake, Angel. With my addictive personality. But but then again, it's Angel. Even if she let him talk shit about you yesterday, Miss Can't Be Wrong, tonight she'll say she didn't. So even with the video to prove it. With my addictive personality, I get leery about gambling, the occasional slots or scratch-offs. Um, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, you know, even with me, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, like I said, a couple of weeks ago, I, I got the da daily racing for map and I, I put like 30 bucks in it. And me and Shannon one night, we placed a few bets and shit. It was all right, but it's horse racing. You can't, I mean, it's, fuck. it's the, the lowest form of gambling is betting on fucking horse racing. I'm telling you, it's, I knew a guy, this guy was amazing. I watched this guy win tens of thousands of dollars. And then I watched him lose everything, everything. And he died destitute. It was my friend, uh, Joe's father. I'm sorry, Joe's, Joe's girlfriend's father. I, I used to go to OTB with him all the fucking time. And uh, he lost every, well, here it's OTW, but he lost everything. He won a lot, but in the end, he lost it all. Degenerate behavior, if you think gambling is normal, you're an addict. Yeah, it's... It's, it's so basic. You know what I mean? It's like the fact that anyone needs to explain this is insane. Jason Mike said, I mean, we're dicing us. Uh, that probably wasn't the word you meant. A statement from Merlina. Oh, we're dicing a statement from Merlina. Yeah. But just to be fair, LOL, he did say on the show that he's a degenerate. He gambles on anything. Don't be like him. Well, yeah, but that's what the contradiction is. Don't be like me and gamble. But everybody who doesn't gamble has something wrong with them. This is what I'm saying. They contradict themselves. People like Joey, you know what I'm talking about. Constantly, man. Constantly. It's just like people, you know, like Michael Franzese, this fucking douche. He'll tell you, uh, don't don't remember him for his past life. Remember him for who he is now. Don't remember him uh, as a mobster. Think of him as the way he is now. And then he'll pull out a painting that he had done of all his favorite mob bosses with him in it. And I think he's in it, his father, everybody, you know, 50 of them. And then he tells you, you can own one of these. And he starts selling them. You just told us, do not uh, uh, glorify the mafia. Do not think of you as who you used to be. And then you show us a fucking painting you had done of the 50 people you worship most. And all 50 of those people were mobsters. It's a contradiction. It's ridiculous. And he's a pretty intelligent guy, and he doesn't even catch himself doing it. Pizza talked about Miss Can't Be Wrong, you, your wife, Tony, Tina, etc. But when he said things, Angel tried to stop him from talking or said she didn't believe him. Marla, on the other hand, was cheering him on, telling him he is aces in her book. Well, Marla is a dumb fucking Trump supporting cunt. You know what I mean? We know that. Um, but Angel, Angel... What's your excuse? Why wouldn't you kick him off? So if I have somebody come on here right now and they trash you and your friends, as long as I say every now and then, come on, don't do that, then it's all good. You are such a sucker, Angel, that you'll let anybody on. Okay? You want to be friends with anybody, especially the worst people, the most ruthless, low-life fucking people, so they could do your bidding for you. And now you're going to have Tony Pizza do it? Okay. You ain't just got to deal with me. There's people on here that are worse than me that'll get you for that shit. You know? So let's see if you do it again, I guess. And if you do, then gloves are off. If you let him talk about me, especially my wife, Angel, the gloves are off. Anybody around you is fair game. If that cocksucker, I'm going to tell you exactly what I told stand-up guy. If you allow him to talk about my fucking wife, Anybody around you is fair game and you can't bitch. Okay. And if you let them talk about, um, miss can't be wrong and people in this chat, then we can attack any fucking buddy we want and you can't cry about it. So there, there you go. We'll see what happens from here. And Peach Creepy Joe, wishing you a happy birthday. FBS was ashamed to see Angel at pizza bum trash. Miss can't be wrong in her show. So Sorry. Uh, yeah, well, you know, I wish I could say I'm surprised. The only reason I'm a little surprised is because I know that Angel's worst nightmare is another war with me. Hello? Well, why are you threatening me? 
Angel, I'm responding to what I'm being told about no, your show I'm last night. I'm listening to your fucking chat because I've defended your wife, I've defended you, and I've defended Miss Can't Be Wrong. Stop listening to them. Did you really? And don't you threaten me ever again. Well, Angel, what do you expect me to say? If you got people talking about my wife, I'm going to threaten no, you. I've defended them. i defended you. i defended your wife, and i defended Miss Can't Be Wrong. So did Maureen. So that's enough, FBS. Stop threatening me. I'm sick of all of you. Yeah, no shit. We're sick of you too, Angel. <laughs> there you go, guys. <laughs> now, see, I want to see that. Did she defend my wife and everybody? My question is, though, why not kick him off? Why not? But listen, for, for all this don't threaten me shit, anybody who lets... Angel, you know better already. Now, if you defended uh, Shanna, then okay. Then if I see that, I'll have an apology to make. Okay, that's me. I'm a man. I'll always apologize if I'm wrong. But if anybody, I don't care who you are, allow somebody to talk about my fucking wife on your show, it's the same as you doing it. So for me to say in response, well, if you do that, the gloves are off and I'll do this, this and this. You could take it as a threat if you want, but you know me to be that person. Just like you, Angel. If I talk about Angel's family, which I'm not going to, but if I did, she would at the very least threaten that she'll start talking about mine. So anyway, that's that. You heard a response. I don't know until I see it with my own eyes, guys. So, you know, if that's true. Uh, Miss Campy Wrong said, too, same. If that's the case, I'll apologize. Yeah, simple as that. Uh, but she, it's hard to get Angel Gotti to yell fuck. <laughs> Stop listening to your fucking chat. <laughs> well, let's see that. If she was defending him, then uh, good. But Or if she was defending them. But uh, why not? Why keep him on, Angel? Angel, you know who this guy is. Look what he said about your family. I'm trying to reason with you now. Why bring him on in the first place? And then why keep him on? Why? I don't understand. You know that he's going to say shit like that, right? So you should blame yourself in a way because if you have Tony Pizza on, you know he's going to say shit about us. Miss Can't Be Wrong, my wife, me, everybody. So you're already setting yourself up to be attacked by other people for, for what he did. And then if he if you say, okay, maybe he'll behave himself, I'll bring him on, and then he starts acting crazy, just kick him off because you know that what he's doing could cause this. So why have him on? I'm telling you guys, listen, I know that people like a lot of you hate me. I know Angel hates me deep down inside. I know she just fucking despises me, which is fine. I don't give a fuck. Um, but when you decide to use him in this passive aggressive way, like I won't say anything about FBS, but I'll befriend this guy. And of course, since he knows I hate him, he'll ramp up his attacks on FBS and his family. You know, when you do shit like that, uh, it, it's going to come back to haunt you. So I don't understand why people do it. I don't understand. But I told you, I'll forget about Tony altogether and go after the people who are getting him to attack me and my family. Ah. Birthday, guys. Come on, kick up. Let's get a few dollars rolling in here. Uh, I got to get off soon. Me and my beautiful wife are going to go spend some time with a friend. Maybe go out to a to a nice dinner. I there's no way I'm gonna get through all the comments, but family member of mine would get upset to break even at the track more than uh, when he lost. Bad gambling is warped stuff. It's terrible. It's terrible. It is. Jason Mikesell, professional handicapping can be a hugely profitable skill if you can prove you win long term. These guys work for Vegas Casino, setting the odds and lines. Very few guys are, are winning long term, man. Remember Robert Eiler was on here, World Series of Poker, uh, which I think, uh, you know, qualifies him as a professional poker player, doesn't, doesn't it? I mean, he played poker professionally. That's how he was making a living for a long time, but... He even said the best poker players in the world lose 30% of the time. Um, and that's, I'm assuming, a minimum, of course. If it's just 30% of the time, you're good. But I'm sure that's a minimum. 
Oh, God. You know what, guys? It's an hour and 24 minutes in. Let me see. Let me try to get to some comments. Muzz says, come on, people, start a $2 donation party. Light up the room. Sounds good to me. Um, the gay Maltese vampire of Park Avenue. I'm a degenerate crackhead. We know, bro. <laughs> Jay Creek, don't gamble because as soon as someone that has studied math, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Jay. I don't gamble because as someone that has studied math, I understand that the odds are heavily against me. I know or I will most likely lose. Uh, I am not going to knowingly lose my money. I don't blame you. Brooklyn, I don't think I shouted this out yet. Thank you for the $5 super sticker. You know, I go up and down in the chat. Thank you very, very much. Uh, I didn't feel it, Tugboat, but a lot of people in here did. A lot of people. Hey, FPS, uh, looking out for you. That scumbag pizza was on Angel's show talking about you and your wife. Uh, I heard things. What a fucking Scott. Well, see, but, but you know, now I, I want to. I don't want to watch Angel's show. You don't understand. Maybe somebody I trust can tell me, somebody I can rely on, somebody I know better, you know, can tell me if, well, I don't know. I don't know who said it in the chat. There might have been some of those people. But if I can find out if she really defended my wife. And Miss Can't Be Wrong. And, you know, I don't care about me. Angel could talk about me. I don't care. I won't even talk about her back. I don't give a fuck. Uh, and as for Marla, too, if what I heard about Marla is wrong, I'll ap uh, apologize there, too. But, uh, you know, chances are that's true, that part. But I don't know. I don't know. Steve Blair, $10 for Hope Mom's Doing Good. Thank you, Steve. You always check up on her. She's in very good spirits today, and she's actually uh, feeling good. Ever since she got the, pace, the new pacemaker, um, She's been tired and stuff. It has me worried, but then she'll have these good days. So, um, poker, I'll dedicate a bank roll and go at it. If serious, once I profit, I cash out. If I lose, oh well, that's the only way to not go. Yeah, but you know, you, you do it fucking, um, you do it occasionally, you know, I'm sure. I am going to Caesar South tomorrow. I'm not a big gambler going with family. I wish I could go play at a casino, but I'm dirt fucking poor. I have no money. I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm dirt poor. I have nothing. Uh, yeah, I know, Albaz. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get... Uh, I, I know a little bit about the situation. Uh, I'm going to research further, but good catch. Motherfucker, this guy. You had to fucking get me, you prick, didn't you? Son of He steps one foot in my mother's direction. He's going to jail. So I see Angel's comment there. Angel, you did nothing wrong. Okay, well, good. Like I said, just let me see it with my own eyes. And uh I, I'm not like them. No offense to the angel and them. I'll apologize. Uh, I used to be to, to really be a fan, but then you went ahead and dis disrespected Casparos and this whole thing with MRE. You're defending every disgrace. Sorry, I'm laughing. I'm just thinking about the fucking over the years this shit with Angel. <laughs> oh my god, so many fucking wars and battles. <laughs> Jesus, I never imagined. I never imagined. <laughs> It's really, it's kind of funny if you think about it. But a lot of bad th things happened during those wars. Uh, all right, guys, I got to get going because I got a, um, yeah, Jason, I, I got to get to, um, I got to go see a friend, man, a um, friend who's sick. You know, I want to um, spend some time with him and shit. Shanna's coming with me, like I said, and probably go get dinner or something. Miss the FBS, I'm new to this, but she defended your wife, mom, Miss Can't Be Wrong, many times. If that's true, Angel, I apologize, but I would like to see it with my own eyes. But but again, the question, and I'm, I'm talking to you, you know, I'm trying to be reasonable. Like, why bring him on, Angel? Like, what's the reason? Especially when you know that he's back on that tear about us, Miss Can't Be Wrong, my wife, SoFlo, Chicago. Well, I don't know if he fucks with Chicago. Like, why bring them on? It's only going to cause trouble. 
I don't care how entertaining the motherfucker is. I wouldn't bring him on here because I know that by the time he's done, I'll be fighting six different wars. People should just distance themselves. I'm telling you, man, that guy has caused so many people so much trouble. Anybody who, and I'm not saying angels close to him, but people who are and people who have been, every single one of them has lived to regret it. You know, he'll record your conversations and expose you while you're still friends. <laughs> I mean, he'll fucking, he'll, um, he'll get you involved in things that have nothing to do with you. He'll do stuff like coming on your show and bashing people who are, you know, nuts and will wind up going after you for it. I don't know. I, I don't understand the logic, but it's her business. She could do what she wants. All right, guys. Thank you for everything. I appreciate you. I'm going to go do my thing. I don't know if I'll be back on tonight, but we'll see. You never know. I love you all. And until next time, salute. Happy birthday to me and sugar. Fuck you, cocksucker. <laughs>